uh, between what would have been one, probably one ten p.m. Central uh, California time, and exactly one twenty three California time, I was crying because I was not only in pain, but as I understand it, somebody was working a transaction and they waved the tax off onto me. And unfortunately, the context of that transaction is completely unacceptable. I was watching a video, uh, a video that was innocuous enough, um, about a topic that I actually used to do as part of my job when I worked in California. That was the kind of stuff that was involved with my job. Now, specific stuff related to how an individual gets their own personal uh, needs met is different than a larger context where there needs to be a civil administration that actually provides a uh, sort of point of intercession, especially if there's a larger need. But if we're talking about the individual and what the individual needs, well, presumably you work a job and in the course of working a job, you get compensation. And in the course of you getting compensation, you are also able to engage with other networks, including social networks. And through that, you have access to resources. So you exchange what you get as compensation for what you end up acquiring to take care of your needs. And that also includes your emergency preparedness needs. That also includes potentially when you meet other people and they have their own needs met. And so you may or may not compare notes, but you have to talk about it. You have to acknowledge it. You have to consent in the event that you expect that what somebody else did was to be a part of how you understand you're going to value yourself and you're going to contextualize what you have. You don't get to just gaslight somebody and lie to them and tell them it's about something else. While well, you take what they've said, what they've actually done, you slander and libel it in front of other people. You refuse to compensate them for work they actually did while you sell it or give it to somebody else that claims it's theirs and sells it. And then you just wave the tax off onto them and you pretend like nobody hears and nobody knows and nobody understands exactly what's going on. You don't do that and get away with it. Who decided that they were going to waive some sort of transfer tax connected to their pension benefits off, onto, and through me? Characterized, by the way, in accordance with accounts that were running in 1985 through 1986. We're talking about some sort of pension obligation that tears itself to the time frame between 1985 and 1986 with a specific intersection or intercession through the state of Florida. That's absolutely what we're talking about. Now, I know that you want that quality and you want that character to be credited to something going on now, but that's not available because of pension fraud. So whoever you are, that used either the possibility of discussing matters with me or benchmarks you set up for yourself or anybody else in connection with my efforts already to contact you in an official capacity or you thought you were going to spy on me and what I am allowed to do with the limited resources I have to claim that somehow it was an acknowledgement that I implicitly consented at some point in time to you exploiting me and taking credit for yourself, you are in error. It is 3.49 p.m. in Dallas. 